All right. Welcome, everybody that uh, made it out today. Thank you so much for your patience today. Um, for those of you who don't know what my name is, my name is Terrence. Terrence Pounds, P-O-U-N-D-S. Um, I've had the great honor and pleasure of attending Second Baptist Church here in Monclova for a decade. So um, I've been blessed. Oh, yes. This is good ground. So, you know, um, I met Pastor Booz as a heathen, and I came to, uh, I came out to do a, a credit repair seminar at Second Baptist Church when it was in um, Holland, Ohio, over there, and that was the first time, well, actually, I had got the chance to meet Pastor Booz prior to coming out to do the actual credit repair sem uh, seminar for the church. And then um, we came out, we did the seminar. I wasn't a member at the time. Um, and pastor said, well, you know, um, maybe you can, you know, help a couple people at the church, a couple people signed up or whatnot. And then um, I came back and I asked him to marry my wife and I. And he was like, well, I don't really, you know, do weddings for, you know, just for free for people that aren't members, but I don't want you to join just so I can marry you. And he said, well, maybe why don't we just, you do my credit and I'll marry you. And I said, all right, that's cool. I, you know, I wasn't ready to be a member of that like that yet. And then so uh, Pastor Booz did come out and marry my wife and I, who we are still happily married after nine years and still here at Second Baptist Church. So it's been good ground for us and um, phenomenal leadership, phenomenal pastor. And we've been able to do very well for ourselves under his leadership. And then so when you take a look at, you know, um, for one, the leader, and then for two, you take a look at the members under that leadership, um, there should be some reflection of the leader in the members. And I don't know about you, but if you sat in enough of uh, sermons as I have under Pastor Booz, he's spoken so many different financial blessings, family blessings, uh, seeds of empowerment and growth that either you were listening or you weren't, either you were receiving or you weren't. And as my covering, my head, I'm, I'm soaking it up. I am soaking it up. And um, I can personally say, you know, through uh, his mentorship, his leadership has done me very well, not only spiritually, but following financially. OK. And then um, for those of you that don't know all about me, but happily married to my wife, Michelle, like I said, of almost 10 years now, and we have nine children in a blended family. And we also have 10 grandchildren now. Yeah, so I'm 46. My oldest grandchild is 10. She calls me OG. So all the grandkids call me OG. <laughs> um, and, and it's a blessing when we think biblically about, you know, what was a blessing. It wasn't a, a bag of dollars falling out of the sky. It was you having a tribe. And the Lord has blessed me with that. For generations to come you know right. that name will go on forever that dna that lineage um i personally feel a responsibility to that lineage as well like i feel a personal responsibility to their future uh not only as a spiritual director yeah i'll be your guy you know i'll be your spiritual guy you don't have to go look any further it's right here and then Outside of that, I want to do something different, which I want to be the, uh, the financial guy. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. You know, um, I tell people all the time I'm a risky YouTube dude. <laughs> um, and so the reality is when you get past the spiritual side of things, which I believe is the foundation for everything, once you have the spiritual in place, then you can begin building in other areas of your life. But if you won't buckle down spiritually, what you'll find out is that the other areas in your life will just continue to crumble. You know, it may seem a little success here, take a step or two here, 
But I guarantee you, until you put the spiritual piece in the center, you're going to have a hard time building all around the rest of your life. And, you know, um, I'm not sure where you are in your walk, um, but blessings come from the Lord. Uh, the things I'm going to talk to you about today, I want you to understand they're not in my own power. Um, I'm obedient and I walk according to the word and I take guidance from the Lord. But if I knew how to do what I'm telling you about right now, 10 or 15 years ago, I would have did it 10 or 15 years ago. Right. And so it's, it was all about the timing. It was all about, you know, when God said it was time. And then you have to be a faithful steward, okay? Um, prior to today's conversation with you, I've handled, you know, a lot of money, um, faithfully, you know. But when I had nothing, when I sat in Second Baptist seats over in Holland, putting money in my ties when it was about to repo my car, seriously. My wife looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, how could you take money from our household to sow into the kingdom when the repo man is knocking at the door? However, it takes obedience. It takes commitment. Um, and if you want the Lord to overshadow you financially, you have to be a faithful steward. Because what will happen is you'll run into, you know, five figures, 10 figures. And some of you probably have over life. You probably have these five and 10 figure opportunities when he's gone. Can't even say where it went. I mean, I've done it before. So I'm talking from experience, right? Um, I blew $100,000 in a few days when I was 25, 26 years old. A few days. And when that opportunity to have that type of capital available to you at that young of an age. If I would have known what I know now, I would have did a million things different with it, right? And it wasn't a loss because I had told the Lord, say, well, if you ever give me another opportunity with, you know, that type of capital, I'll know what to do. You know, I won't do that again. I learn from my mistakes. And that's what it's about in this life. You have to learn from your mistakes. Um, so I'm a self-employed entrepreneur. Um, I have been self-employed ever since I've been coming to Second Baptist Church. I could, never had a job, never punched a time clock. Ever since Pastor knowing me, I work when I want to work. For real. And you can have that too. I'm not like, um, I'm not special. Um, I've lost a lot of hair. Like I said, the repo man's been at the door. My home's been in foreclosure three times since I've been at this church, like three times. And God always made a way every time. And so when you see me on Sundays, regardless if the repo man was just there Saturday and I'm closing the garage on him, get out of here, you ain't getting this car. I'm still here praising him and thanking him because I'm alive another day, right? Yeah. And um, when we understand that, uh, that from the spiritual side, that when that foundation is there, it doesn't matter about anything in the natural. This is temporary. Everything is, right? Yeah. Uh, and so we focus on those things that are eternal. Now, once our focus is on the eternal, then we can begin to build in the natural, okay? And then now building in the natural, what does that look like? Um, we need to leave some form of legacy, spiritual first. Don't leave a legacy of heathenism, paganism, you know, atheists, non-spiritual people. I ain't say religious, I said spiritual, all right? Religion is, I tell you to feel something. Spirituality is you will personally feel it. I need you to connect with the most high. And then once you're connected, then he can take you, okay? But that connection has to be made first, all right? Um, really wasn't gonna talk about that today, but let's get into uh, what's going on, all right? Yes, sir. Okay. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we bless you, we glorify you. Uh, I thank you for each and every soul that is sitting here today. And Father, we are uh, in your house today. But today, the reason that we're here uh, is to learn and to grow, not only spiritually, but to the financial level, Lord God. We know all good things come from you. And Lord God, every blessing, every door open, every good thing, Lord God, you get the credit, the glory, and the honor. And Lord, we could not do it without you. We thank you in advance for the wealth transfer that is about to happen, Lord God. And we thank you for the knowledge that is going to be built up in these people. And we thank you that we'll be able to pass these jewels down for generations, Lord God. We'll open doors, Lord God. We thank you for it, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. So uh, most of us in here, uh, some of us, most of us up in here are in Novatech. So I'm not going to really talk about Novatech today. However, um, what's happened in the past six months is nothing but incredible in my standpoint. Okay. So I'm going to tell you a few things, right? When I got started in the DeFi space, and DeFi means decentralized finance. And I'll be recording this, so I'll be able to send this video to you or you feel free to take some notes. But DeFi is decentralized finance. What that means is you're taking finances in your own hand. It's not centralized through your banks, through your key banks and your JP Morgan Chase banks. You're, you're literally taking all the risk and reward in your own hands. The things I'm going to talk about with you today are risky. Let me say that again. They're risky. You can lose some or all of your money. Let me say it again. You can put in little dollars or big dollars but you can lose some or all of your money. Now, it's not much different than the traditional sector. If you've had a 401k or an IRA or a money market account, um, unless you had some form of protected annuity or something against loss um, over the last couple of years, you've probably seen that go down, right? Um, so I want you to understand that there's risk in everything. There's risk in going to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Truthfully, there is. There's risk in eating out. There's risk in walking across the street. There's risk in everything. Now, in investing, there's risk. And so I tell everybody, if you cannot afford to lose, don't invest. Don't do it. I'm telling you now. I don't care what the investment is. If you cannot afford to lose it, like if you're going to have a hard time going to sleep at night, you better not invest a dollar in any type of investment. Now, you can keep it in your bank account or under your mattress and where it's being corroded by time. Have you taken a look to see what a dollar actually buys now compared to what it used to buy? And it's not just about inflation. It's about the power of the dollar is decreasing. They don't have the revenues to back the dollar. There's no, everybody knows the United States is in debt, right? I'm not telling you something that you don't know, right? And then I also need you to understand that when a country is in debt, how does a country pay its debt? Think about that. It owes a debt. How does one pay a debt? Look through history, right? What happens when a country can't pay its debt? Huh? The people. The only resource a country has, if it doesn't have revenue, is land and people. So they either take your country or enslave your people. Now, I'm not fear mongering or trying to tell you that's what's going to happen to the United States. But let's be real. They, they have a, a, a debt they can't pay. They have money in circulation that they print every single day whenever they're ready. And the value of that money is vastly decreasing. Vastly decreasing. Now, how do you hedge 
against your dollars deteriorating in your bank account. You know what your interest rate is like half a percent for the year, right? Some even less, right? So I want you to keep that number in your mind, a half a percent for a year. Let's give you 1% for a year. I'm going to stretch you out there. Or let's say that you went into uh, some form of mutual fund or something that was very aggressive that's going to get you, you know, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11%, something like that a year. That's cool, but most people don't have the money to get in those type of projects. Most things take money to make money, right? Now, what I want to tell you is that in the last six months, I believe I found a way to make multiple streams of income and to be able to hedge against what's happened with inflation and the deteriorating dollar that can't buy anything fruitfully anymore. Now, the only way to do that is to play the game that the banks play. What do banks play with? They play with finances. They play with dollars. They play with assets. When you get into the decentralized finance, DeFi space, right? Then you're taking those matters in your own hands. But the returns, the returns, the returns go from, like I said, I gave you a percent a year, right? That goes to a half a percent per day. You hear me? I told you the bank is going to give you a percent in a year. The high risk, nonetheless, opportunities that we engage in at the low end, low end, give you a half a percent per day. Okay. Now I'm in projects. I'm in multiple projects. I'm in 40 projects. One of those projects pays 3% per day. And I just saying numbers, it doesn't really put that in perspective for you with 3% a day looks like. And I'm just talking right now, but I want you just to understand from the comparison standpoint, you get 1% a year or 3% per day. It doesn't take a, 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 yeah, you don't have to be super smart. <laughs> just say, I like the 3% a day. Just in case you were going to say a half a percent or a 1% a year, the answer is the 3% a day, okay? Now, um, when Pastor told me about Novatech uh, a year ago now, I brushed him off. Uh, just be honest. He sent it to me. I looked at it. Ah, you know, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Then when I took a second look, I was like, ah, you know, and you're getting paid. That's real. You know, and then so I got here. And then so I'm a little more risky than most people. Um, you can, you should only invest what you can responsibly afford to lose. Okay. And then, so, um, I used to, used to, used to go to the casino. I used to play the lottery and I bet most of you sitting here either used to, or still do. And so with that being said, it's all a gamble. It's all a gamble. When you go put that money in that slot machine, you might have snuck up to Detroit. Maybe you was at Hollywood at three or four o'clock in the morning thinking you wouldn't see nobody. Uh, maybe it's just when you go in that store real quick just to get the pot, you grab a couple lottery tickets real quick. Maybe you bet sports online. I'm just saying, I'm keeping it real. Be, be real, folks. You've gambled. This is a gamble. Okay. Now, I'm going to say this. I believe the odds are phenomenally much better gambling over here where I'm gambling at. And honestly, um, just with six months, I have the track record to prove it. And what's happened for me, I have to tell you my experience and then we're going to get into this platform. And I'm going to tell you that everybody here today, since you came out today, as long as you have a phone number or email address, I'm going to personally sponsor you in one of these programs today personally sponsored. So every single person here will be personally sponsored and lose one program a day before you leave. Um, all you need is a cell phone and an email address and we go get you rocking. Uh, so um, back in August, 
August 2nd, I remember the date. I decided I was going to get in Novatech. I came in with 10 grand. I seen it work for three weeks. I put another 10 grand in. Seen it work a little bit more through another 10 grand. And then with Novatech, let me show you here real quick. And this is not about Novatech today. I'm actually going to show you a couple other projects here. And then so I want you to see what I saw. So, you know, seeing is believing for some people, but I need you to see what I saw when I decided to put my money into this project, right? And then what I'm going to do is let me show you this. And this is just a 4X compounding calculator. You might not be able to see it that well. I'm going to blow it up as big as I possibly can here. Um, block this stuff out here. I'm not sure why all this is popping up. Oh, that's probably here. Let's see here. All right, did I need to block something out here? Manage settings. Uh, did I scroll down faster? Yeah, let me let me reopen this calculator app. It didn't open properly anyway. And I can just use the regular calculator that it's on. Oh, goodness. I did scroll down here. You know what? Let's try this again. And I'm not clicking on the same link. We are going to do daily compound. I need the daily compound interest calculator anyway. Okay, that is not working for me. All right, so let me show you here. Uh, a simple understanding of dollars, okay? Without showing you on a calculator. I can tell you, if I put in $1,000, and I get paid 3% per week. That's 30 bucks. Okay. Don't have to show you that on the calculator. So if I put in 10,000, it's 300, right? I'll put in 20,000, it's 600. Y'all with me? Put in 30,000, it's not accurate. Y'all with me? Oh, that's all I was trying to show you. I was trying to show you that with my $30,000 investment that I would be getting $900 a week. A week. Now, I don't know how many bills you have, um, but I don't know if $900 a week covers your bills, but that's what I saw for myself. And I know everybody doesn't have $30,000 to get invested. I get that. And that was risky for me to do. You know, I could have lost it all. Um, but it's taken away my gambling craving. I ain't been at the casino no more. I'll play the lottery and I'm making bread, right? You know? So I took some L's at the casino. <laughs> um, but this I'm winning at. And so now you may be asking, okay, well, you put 30000 in the space. How do you look now? Well, I literally took my hands off of my personal finances. So we have multiple streams of income from the normal world, not the cryptocurrency and DeFi space. And I completely took my hands off that money. Now, this has been paying my bills for a decade. You know, I completely took my hands off that money and I ain't touched no savings. And so in the matter of the last six months, which, I'm, and I'll be honest with you, I'll keep it real with you. My monthly bills are roughly $6,000 a month. A lot of commitments, a lot of things I pay for every single month. The Lord makes a way. Them bills been the same since they was repoing the car. They have not increased. They've been the same since I've been going here. <laughs> but the Lord's made a way regardless, right? And so what he's done in six months is he's created a way for me to completely, entirely replace my income that I lived on for a decade. For a decade. And, I, and not only have I got all of that 30000 back out, now I'm playing with the house money. And so that's the goal in investments, right? It's to get in and get out with your initial seed capital just in case something happens, right? You know, most things don't last forever. So you got to be smart, right? Yeah. And then so if I put in 30,000 and I'm going to pull my whole 30,000 out, now anything that I have 
out there in that space is nothing but profit. So no, I don't want to lose what I have out there, right? And I'm still paying my monthly bills out of there, right? But now if something happens, I can't lose. You know what I'm saying? I can't lose. Like I'm ahead. And then so let's put this in perspective. Six months ago, I had $40,000. Remember our early Nova Tech meetings and I was opening up that back office? It's like 40000 in there, right? That was October. And then I decided to diversify. So diversification is key in any portfolio. The, the, I can't tell you what's going to happen with any of these projects. Like they could be here today and gone tomorrow. Things happen. You know, things happen. But if you're diversified like I am, then you have the ability to be able to handle if something were to go wrong with one. Folks, last week, just being honest with you, well, a, a month ago, the project I was going to show you and the project I was going to sponsor everybody, there was 2 million users worldwide, right? On the NASDAQ, New York, it's gone. It was a scam. Oh, $50,000 gone. $50,000 gone. That was right there in my account. If I would have just pulled it out the day before, 50K. Then another project I was in, roughly 20 some odd thousand. Gone. 70,000, right? I, I called Pastor in December. And I said, look, pastor, I'm pulling 25,000 out of my Novatech account. And I know that's only 3% a day, I mean a week, but I'm about to go put this 25,000 in something that pay 5% a day, a day. We're going 3% a week, 5% a day. 5% a day gives you your money back in a month. So actually 150% if you do 30 days, but I take this 25K, from something that's working and making me passively great money, I go stick it in something else and I never got my money back out. So add that to the list of losses, about 25,000 there. I've jumped in probably another 10 programs that look good. Mm, lost 500, a couple thousand. So let's bring up my losses. Probably lost about 140,000 over the last six months. Oh, however, however, but God, right? <laughs> if I showed you my portfolio, right? My portfolio is worth $230,000. I'm going to say that again. Started with $30,000. I've withdrawn drawn over $30,000, all over. We've lost over 100,000. My portfolio is still worth almost a quarter million since October. So I think that I figured something out. <laughs> I think I cracked the code, right? And then so for me, it ain't about me just being ridiculously wealthy. I want my friends and family to be ridiculously wealthy too. Ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. You know, um, you know, I want to see my whole click balling. You know, seriously though. And, and not just because I don't want every one of you Negroes coming and asking me for money. <laughs> I want you Negroes to have money to give to people that you know. Seriously. You want to be a blessing, but you're just going to say, God bless you. Huh? You know when people come to you nine out of ten times, they need money, right? So how are you going to help? How are you going to be in the spot to help? As the lead, as the head, right? Oh, baby, I'll pray for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but I have a need that needs to be taken care of from the financial side. And, and, and it would be nice if my brothers and sisters in the Lord, in the Lord, right? My family, has some capabilities and not just you. I mean, congratulations that you made it, but what about the rest of the people around you? Are you going to build them too? In order to change the trajectory 
of our future we have to build. And it has to be an each one teach one thing. And we cannot let uh, technological barriers, you know, not being able to log on Zoom, not being able to download an app. We got to stop that, folks. We have to stop that. It's not that hard. You got little four-year-old kids getting on cell phones, watching videos and YouTube and everything else. I'm sick of your excuses. It's over. Over. In order to go to the next level, you will have to get the digital thing together. You, you don't have to. And I'll help you. I will help you. We will help you. There's people that know. So don't be left out in the cold. Don't be discouraged by the, the learning curve or what you don't know. Um, you can learn as you go. All right. And so uh, I feel like I'm qualified to talk about the things that I'm talking about today. And ultimately, I'm going to show you a couple different projects. Uh, this part won't take long. Um, I'm a personally sponsor. How many people we got here today? I brought a thousand dollars in cryptocurrency today. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So in the church because I'm a sponsor of the church. So call it sixteen divided by a thousand. Somebody got a calculator. That's what's coming to you to get you started in this program today. And then what we also have is we have. Um, I have a couple other projects and you can put in more money just because I'm starting you with this doesn't mean that you can't add more if you see fit. Um, but you're going to come in this project today with no skin in the game. No skin in the game. You can't lose. The only thing you lost was coming sitting here listening to me for an hour and some change. And then you're going to get engaged in the project. Uh, we'll get you all funded before you leave. You'll completely understand it. And um We'll see if this works for you. Then I'm going to show you a couple other projects, a uh, couple projects I've been in for a few months, maybe of interest to you, maybe not. I'm in 40 different ones. You can have your buffet. And there's more projects coming. And um, I would be remiss, as they say, right, if I didn't tell you that I am launching my own project. Um, and so what, what, what makes a good project in the space is in my opinion, do you know who the person is behind it? Because some of these projects, you'll never meet the owner. You'll never meet them. Um, can you trust the person that's doing the project? Does the person doing the project actually have real world access to capital? And does the person doing the project actually know what trading is and cryptocurrency is? You know, I've been around this stuff for a decade. You know, cryptocurrency since 2013. I actually set my kids up with wallets, cryptocurrency wallets in 2014, sent them cryptocurrency for Christmas in 2014. I've been stock options trading for six years, took my wins and losses. I made 100,000 in one day, one day. And so the platform that I put together uh, will be a platform that's available to all. And so then you'll know the person behind it. You'll be able to get referrals for telling other people about it. It'd be something that you can trust that I'm not going to run. I'm not going to run with your money. I promise I'm not going to run with your money. Um, but all investments do carry risk. So, you know, if I just couldn't do it, I just couldn't do it as far as, you know, perform. But I believe I got it figured out. And then just so you know, when you invest in me, you're investing in all my business. You're investing in my trading. You're investing in my quarter of a million that I currently have right now in the DeFi space. And then when you put a quarter of a million in perspective in the DeFi space, and you put that at 1% per day, per day, I say 3% per day, I said 1% per day. I'll be a crypto millionaire this year, this year, within 12 months, with no money in the game, with all their money, bags, Seriously. And I am trying to take some other people with me. And you don't need a whole lot of money to make some money. You got to be disciplined. You probably need a coach. You can call me your coach, not your financial advisor, but you can call me your coach. And um, we can get this money. All right. Okay, cool. So let me show you all a couple of things here. Um, any questions before I get into the actual stuff that I wanted to show you today? Okay, cool.
Cool. So the very first project I'm going to show you is C12, right? And I'm not sure how well you can see that on the screen up there. Good enough. Okay. And then, so you're going to see this project and I call it a project. Um, and I may use the term platform. I may use the term um, passive investment. All of these things I'm going to show you today are passive. What does that mean? You don't have to do anything. You ain't got to talk to nobody. You don't have to recruit nobody. You ain't got to go tell no friends and family. If you get involved, you be the only one that knew besides me, unless you told somebody that passive. And even with it being that passive, you're still going to make great money. So you're going to make money while you sleep. Now, I want you to understand, if you don't find a way to let your money work for you, you'll work till you die. I'm going to say that again. If you don't find a way to let your money work for you, you will work till you die. I want to be clear. And so I don't want to work till I die. I want to stop working. I want to enjoy my life. I want to wake up and do nothing if I decide, right? I don't want to be a bum, but I'm just saying, like, if I decide. And I want to spend time with my family, my friends, my grandkids. I want to travel. No, I love traveling. No, no, I love going somewhere. And I ain't got to go live it up. I just want to go there. I just want to get there, eat some good food, chill out, relax. I ain't got to go to no parties, none of that. I ain't got to have a casino there. It's a casino 15 minutes away. I just want to get away. And that's what I like to do. And so you should have a why. And then also, I got 10 grandchildren. I want them to have something. My kids might have missed it. <laughs> Sorry, kids. <laughs> but these grandkids, though, you know, I want to be able to do for them. I want to be able, oh, you need a car? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't co-signing for nothing. But I'll cash. <laughs> I get that. Uh, you know, but I want to be able to be able to help them. You know, and not like, you better not ask me for no money. You you know I'm broke, right? I don't want to do that. Like, why does that have to be us? It doesn't have to be like that. And so I believe that investing is the only way to get there. Now, I know you see this thing says it's advertised at 12% daily. Um, you don't get 12% daily. It, it actually breaks down to about 3% a day which is pretty good, folks. Oh, that's a lot of money. And the reality is every two weeks, you make 44%. So every 2.2 weeks or two weeks and two days, and these are these are only business days. You see this thing says business days. You don't get paid on the weekends. You get paid Monday through Friday, business days. Now, how does this work? If you put in a hundred bucks, let's just say you put in 100. In 12 business days, that hundred would be $144. Oh, you put in a hundred. In 12 days, business days, it's $144. Now what they do is they would give it to you $12 a day. They just drop down 12. If you put in a hundred, Doing this based on 100, they would $12 a day. Then you can pull that $12 out. It's crypto, not dollars, it's crypto, but we can swap crypto to dollars. We got that. Don't worry about that. We'll show you how to do all of that. But they drop down $12 every day. After eight days, you have all your money back. So I need you to understand in everything, there's risk and reward. You have to look and see, well, how long am I risking my money? How long will it take me to get my money back? You need to know that. You need to consider that. You know, there's programs that your money's locked up. This is 12 business days in totality. There's programs you can't get your money out for months. Yeah. You know, people, when they think about investing, most people don't think of short term. They're thinking long term, right? Three years, five years, 10 years. Where are we going to be, right? So 
And if you have to go, brother, too, make sure uh, uh, make sure you do get with me so I can get you set up and going. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. All right. And so um, we 144%. So let's put that in perspective. You do $1,000. It's going to be 44, excuse me. You're going to make $440 in two and a half weeks. Pretty good. You got 10 grand. You're going to make $4,400 in a matter of just two and a half weeks. Now, this project here is called Carnelian 12C12. Um, I've been in the project. Let me show you. See, here's the platform's live statistics right here. It's been running for 120 days. There's 4,400 users, so 4,000 users. There's been over a million dollars in funds deposited into this program. Okay. Now, I've been in the program for about 45 days. When I got in the program 45 days ago, it only had $200,000 in the funds deposited section. So in the last 45 days, this program has grown where it's over a million dollars in the program. Now, that's not my money. That's just how many investors decided, oh, I kind of like this too, all right? Now, let me show you a couple of things and then I'm gonna get a little more into the project here. Now, the main activity of Carnelian 12 or C12, which I know you can't see that, let me make this here, okay? All right, the main activity of Carnelian 12 is trading digital assets. Now, what are digital assets? Cryptocurrency. Now, if you don't know what cryptocurrency is, let me tell you, it's digital currencies. Um, most of you, by show of hand, if you got Cash App, raise your hands if you got Cash App, please. All right, so when you send something Cash App, are you literally going to your bank and getting your fiat paper dollars out of your bank and sending them? No, it's just the digital thing that happens. No money's actually moving hands. Just numbers are changing. I'm serious. Money doesn't move from one bank to another, which you think a guy goes out and gets money out of your key bank and drives it over. <laughs> Fifth third. No, it's digital, folks. And so cryptocurrency, you already really know what it is. It's digital. But these are digital assets. And these digital assets have different value amounts. We already talked about the dollar having not the same value that it used to have. So cryptocurrency assets go up and down too. So people will be like, oh, ain't that Bitcoin? Ain't it going down? All assets go up and down. Stock market goes up and down. Housing market goes up and down. Car market goes up and down. The price of bread goes up and down. Milk, eggs, Go up and down, right? <laughs> only up. Some things only go up. Right? Um, and so you cannot be afraid about the up and down. This is trading. This is how markets work. Markets go up and down. That's how people make money. People make money because of the fluctuation of the price. Because people are betting on the price going up or betting on the price going down. Or people are sitting there in an asset that they paid $100 for waiting for it to appreciate. Anybody ever say baseball cards or coins? Okay. You're, you're taking an asset and waiting for it to appreciate in value. So at some point you could sell it more for more than what you got it. And so that's all trading is. Buy low, sell high. That's what trading is, folks. And people are trading cryptocurrencies, these digital assets, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, Shiba, Finance coin, Matic. There's thousands of them. Can't name them all. But these are just digital currencies, folks, that all have value, that go up and down. Now, Carnelian 12 is in the training digital assets. To achieve the best results, their traders prefer short positions. Short positions mean that they're betting on the market going down. Performing with automated tools. So it's not just the guy sitting there trading. It's actually 
an artificial intelligence robot. And you ain't got to know nothing about any of this. You don't have to know about it. You just need to know that put some money here. And right now, this project is making money. Now, is performing with automated tools, powerful compounding algorithms that can provide rapid profits within seconds. Artificial intelligence trading system and human strategies are jointly used in C12 high frequency trading. NFTs, folks, which are non-fungible tokens, we're not going to get into a deep discussion on what NFTs are, but they're non-fungible tokens. They're stores of value that are generally uh, tied to art, okay? So, which have given new life to cryptocurrencies. And so, which this is a new thing over the last couple of years, NFTs got big, but trading this new digital asset has created wealth. By combining art value collection and digital technology has also triggered smart upgrades in our yielding mechanism. So since of this proprietary software that they have, they have the ability to make some really good gains, folks. Such proprietary tools help us to stay on top of the online investment market, thus putting Carnelian 12 at the forefront of the industry. Now, the name of the Carnelian comes from the Latin word meaning flesh, but we're not going to go into fleshly things because <laughs> we're going to keep going on. So um, if you do decide that you want to refer somebody to this program, you do get 5% of whatever they deposit. So even though I'm putting a thousand dollars out there today, I'll be able to get 5% of that back because I referred you guys, right? Which is cool. And 5% is not a huge referral. Once again, you don't have to tell anybody, but if you do, they reward you with 5%. And then now I actually lied to you. Um, I get 7% because you can see that um, action oriented top tier marketers, they call me a top tier marketer, right? <laughs> with an overall team turnover of 100K or higher. That means have over $100,000 in my friends and family or associates said, Hey, I want to try that too. Well, they did because I've already reached this level and can become an official Carnelian 12 platform representative to obtain a highly profitable extended 721 reward. So I'm at the 721 status, right? I want to show you a couple other things. Uh, the platform is very secure. I actually get a chance to talk with the devs, which is short for developers and co-owners uh, of this particular platform. So I am in communication with the people that run the platform. Now, does that mean that they won't steal, run, hide, run off? I mean, they could. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything. Don't, don't join because I know them or talk back and forth with them. But you don't get that with every platform, okay? And so I do have that ability to talk with them. And then I want to show you this top 12 leaderboard right here. Um, so the most money anybody deposited has been 14,000, right? You can see that 14,000. Um, but 14,000 they deposited in there, right? They started February 18th, 2023 from the United States, Cedric Harris, right? And then look at revenue paid. I want you to see who shows up. You see me up there? You see me representing? Yeah. So Terrence Pounds, revenue paid. They've been paying me, y'all. And then look, 121. Oh, my goodness. You see that number that's coming over there, right? Yeah. You see that number? That $9,871.48. Yeah, that's what they paid me in 45 days. Wow. Yeah, that's what they, let me say, that's what they, this, this one platform that I'm showing you today has paid me in 45 days. And then you see this percentage right here, right? You see that percentage is kind of hard to see. Does that show up up there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What, 1,540% in 45 days? And then look at the other leaders. I mean, there's people that made more, but look, they're 100%, right? They're 119%, 74%, 99%, 143%, 109%. Look, I'm at 1,500%. I know what I'm doing. Now, 
you can simply come to the website if you want it and you can join my team by simply clicking down here, which plenty of people just come and click when they see the website. And then I want you to show you the network bill. So the revenue paid, I'm number three. All right, which I'll take that. I've only been at 45 days. And then network build, I'm number two. So number two network builder. Look at this. Terrence Pounds, United States. 235,000 from my team that came in. And look, you won't be the first person to join. You'll be number 300 or 301 or something like that, right? Uh, and so I'm balling in this platform. And then when you look at the person above me, star one, that's my upline. That's the guy that told me about it. And when he told me about it, I'll be honest with you, I said, man, this sounds too good to be true. I just seemed like just, you know, Seem like it's just a little too much to be true, like 3% a day. That's a lot. But it's been working. Yeah. And it's been paying. Yeah. And I made 10 grand in 45 days. And then the guy under here to bless 25, that's also another one of our team members. So this particular platform is working for us, folks. Um, like I said, nothing in this space lasts forever. Um, but this program has been working wonderfully. And then I'm going to log in so you can see how it looks. They have a great website. A lot of this stuff in this space is looking a little bit weird. Uh, but this is the website here. Once you get signed up today, very easy with your phone number. I mean, your email address. Do it through your phone. We're going to get you set up with a crypto wallet. So when you get paid, they can pay you somewhere. It's crypto in and crypto out. You got to have a way to get paid. Even if you don't spend it or even if you don't convert it back, you got to have somewhere for them to pay you when it's time for you to get paid. And then at some point too, even though I'm funding you today, you don't need a way to get funded because I'm going to fund you today. But when you take your returns, you need a way for you to get your returns. Okay. And then so let me show you the account. It's going to be very simple. You can see it's been running online for 120 days. Once you set the account up, it's very simple. You come over here and click the invest button. And then when you add a new investment, there's only a couple different investment options, right? Um, anybody in here been to a foreign country before where they did not take U.S. currency? Anybody? Okay. When you go to a foreign country and they don't take U.S. dollars, you have to go to the exchange. And then you exchange the U.S. dollars for the currency that they use in that country. It's the same thing when you cross over into the cryptocurrency land. Take, take U.S. dollars. You got to change those U.S. dollars at the cryptocurrency exchange. Simple. And then once you make that exchange, then you can play with it. Yes, sir. Okay. Cryptocurrency, no matter where you're at in the world, it's the same value. Yes. Yes. And you can send it all over the world in an instant. So the difference is you hold the keys. Like most of us bank at some bank. That's closed on the weekends, right? Most most banks, not all, most. And if you lose your debit card and you don't got your checkbook and it's on the weekend, what do you have to do? You got to wait till Monday. You got to wait till Monday at 9 o'clock to go get what's yours. Kind of weird, ain't it? Yeah. And, and then you pay them, keep your money there. That's deteriorating. It's super weird when you put it in perspective what we do. And then... You can't get it because they closed or their website is down or their banking app is down, right? Well, cryptocurrency, when you store that digital value, you hold the keys to it. You send it when you're ready. I could send cryptocurrency to Bangladesh before you can walk out of here. For real. For change. You do a you do a wire, it's gonna be at least 15, 25, $35 for bank wire. Could send a million dollars for crumbs. I don't have a million dollars in the space. I told y'all I'm working towards that crypto millionaire. And then another thing that we always got to understand too is compound interest, folks, which I didn't get into compound interest. There's simple interest. That's the only thing I talked about. But compound interest is when you take your gains and then you add them back to your principal. And so instead of me uh, making $12 a day, 
I would take that $12 and add it back into the original 100, which would be a 112 principal instead of a $100 principal. And so now not only is my money making money, but my interest is making money too, which is phenomenal. That's compound interest. And then um, there's a famous quote out there. I don't know who said it, but they said that compound interest, I believe Albert Einstein is the eighth wonder of the world. And they say those who understand it, get it, but those that don't pay it. So if you understand compound interest, you get compound interest, like you make your money compound. And if you don't understand it, you're the one paying it. Okay. Now to get started here, you can get started with Cash App or Bitcoin. I mean, Cash App or Coinbase. So this is one of the projects that if you got Coinbase or you got Cash App, now you have to be approved to be able to buy cryptocurrency on Coinbase. I mean, Coinbase or Cash App. You have to be approved to be able to buy it and send it. We'll, we'll make sure that you're there. But you can get started with just Bitcoin. Everywhere has Bitcoin. You know, if you ain't heard of no other cryptocurrency, you probably heard of Bitcoin, right? Now, for those a little more experienced in the space, they also accept uh, Tron, TRX, and they also accept USDT Tether on the TRC20 network. And I know that's weird to some of you people, but it's just a matter of think about it like Bitcoin is uh, the US dollar and Tron might be the Japanese yen or USDT might be the pound. It's just different currencies to use in the cryptocurrency space and they all have different values. Just like the dollar is worth something somewhere, the peso is worth something somewhere, right? It's not the same across the world. Excuse me, not the same assets aren't worth the same dollars. Now, the USDT, just as a housekeeping note, is a stable coin. Now, what is a stable coin? It means it does not fluctuate in value. It's pegged to the US dollar. So one USDT tether is the same as one US dollar, okay? So nice little calculator down here. So just in case you were thinking like, well, you know, I know you about to put eighty dollars in there for me, but what if I want to invest some more money or whatever that is, right? Then you've got the calculator you can play with, and let's just see if you want to put in like five thousand. It shows you the map. You put in five thousand, you would get six hundred a day for two weeks and two days, and will be seventy two hundred after two weeks and two days. If you put in something like. 12,350, you can see what it breaks down to be, right? So once you put that in, you would simply come and click proceed to payment. All of these things kind of work the same. Oh, actually, I didn't mean to do that. They're going to think I'm sending over 12 grand, but I'm not right now. Um, but once you do that, it brings up a QR code. So just like when you folks have to send stuff through Cash App, you need a phone number or you need a handle. When you send an email to somebody, you don't just go send an email. You need an address. In this space, they work with addresses. This is the address that I would use to copy and paste inside of my Coinbase or Cash App in order to tell Coinbase or Cash App where to send my cryptocurrency. Need an address. Can't just pull up at your house and I don't know your address. And so that's what you do. And then once you get that over there, you click I have paid. Now, there's a couple housekeeping tips I wanted to tell you about Cornelian 12. Um, can I cancel this payment? Yeah, well, well don't worry, I'll reach out to them. Um, there's a couple housekeeping tips that I got to tell you about uh, Cornelian 12. They only pay Monday through Friday. So nothing happens on the weekends. Um, your initial deposit comes back over those 12 business days. So you don't get 12% a day and all your money back in the end. Your money is coming back in those 12 deposits. Now, let me pull up a couple other things I did want to share with you. Um, no revenue on the weekends. Um, so it all will start on Monday. We get you started today. You're going to start making money on Monday. You can request a payout on any day, but they only pay out on business days. The higher, the more you request, the longer the waiting time. So you request a little money, takes under 24 hours. You request a bigger money, it could take up to four or five days. Not a big deal. I'm in projects that it takes a couple weeks 
Okay. Um, the deposits come active after your transaction is confirmed by the network. You can keep adding money. You don't have to stop today. If you like it, you want to add some more money, great. If you don't, no problem. If you want to take this all out after you run your 12-day cycle and be like, hey, I made some money. Hey, you made money in the space. You got a positive story. There's no requirements, no strings attached. You don't have to sign up for any of my other projects, do any of that stuff. Um, and then reinvestments. Um, if you want to put in more money, the money that is sitting in your account, you have to physically withdraw it before you put it back in. So you withdraw it to your wallet, then you send it back in, nice and simple. Um, I've already told you there's three different deposit methods, Bitcoin, USDT, or Tron. Did you have a question? Okay. And then I told you about the affiliate program. You can tell others about it. You will have your own personalized individual link in the back office, and you can share that with others. Um, security pins. So this is finances. Do you give your banking pin to everybody and password and stuff? Protect these the same. It's money, folks. Okay. Be a faithful steward of it. And you can have multiple accounts, but you cannot refer yourself. So say you want an account for you. You want an account for, you know, mom, dad, kids, whatever the case is. Just use my link. You can set up as many accounts as you want. Just don't refer yourself because if they find you referring yourself, then they can collapse all of your accounts, but you can have as many as you want. And you have to be able to access an account with any, or you have the ability to access this from your cell phone or your computer. So you don't have to be on a computer. I'm showing you my computer up there. 99% of the time I'm using my cell phone. Okay. Um, they keep in touch with people by Telegram. Telegram is another social media channel and you may never decide to get in Telegram. However, you're not gonna be able to open up Yahoo Finance and read about most of these investments. So what I encourage you to do is the investments that you get in so that you can stay up on them. You're gonna have to join either their Facebook or Telegram or Instagram or, or, or YouTube channel, you, or you can join my channels that I have that I keep people updated on all the projects. I'll be happy to do that. But you, as a responsible adult, need to stay up on where your money's invested at. Period. All right. Just Telegram. It should be just Telegram, I believe. And, and we'll make sure we get all these links. Okay, so before we start getting people signed up on this particular project, are there any questions from anybody about the project, the space? I want to make sure that you you have an understanding for one of what's going on, and then um, make sure I answer all your questions thoroughly. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Um, so when I was, when I said space, I meant the cryptocurrency and decentralized finance sector or market. When I say space, I meant market. So, yeah, so cryptocurrency and decentralized finance market, like you got the stock market, you got the Forex market. So this particular market, and I did say I'm in 40 different decentralized financed projects. This is one of 40 that I'm showing you. Now, all 40 of them, I'm not making 10,000 every 45 days. That's not the case. Um, and all of them, I haven't had the same success as this particular platform. Um, but I do think it's phenomenal. It's still newer. So you're getting in on the ground level still. And, you know, nothing lasts forever. So you want to wait till the project's four or five years old and try to get your money in, or you want to get in on the ground level when it's still building and growing and you have a chance to get your money in and out of there or make some money. And if it goes on years, great. If it goes on weeks, great. But as long as you get your initial money back out of there, then you can feel good about going forward. Yes, sir. Are they trading just crypto or, or portfolio? They're just crypto. They are just crypto. Yes, Is there a risk of not being able to convert your money into U.S. dollars? 
Is there a list of um not really? Uh I mean the risk is if you send it to the wrong place. Now there's fees, but not really the risk. So, you know, um most of us have Coinbase or Cash App. So between those two exchanges, most people get on board for a lot of different projects. Another question? This one is called Carnelian 12. We call it C12 for short. C12 for short. Okay. Any other questions about this particular project? Okay, cool, cool. All right, now I am going to show you a couple other more projects just so you've got something else to sink your teeth in. It's not going to take as long to show you these other projects, um, but I do want to show you these projects quickly. And then um, once I show you these projects, let me stop this screen share, and I'm going to start another screen share here real quick, Pastor. Um, so share screen. This time I want to share my sound. I've never done this before, y'all, so y'all bear with me on this, trying new things here. So share sound. Boom. And so that's C12. I'm going to show you two more programs and then we're going to get everybody signed up for C12 and anything else that they wanted to uh, potentially take a look at. And then so the next program I'm going to show you um, is called Afric JM Arbitrage or AAS. Afric JM Arbitrage or AAS for short, uh, which is Afric Arbitrage Systems. I'm sorry. And then so um, I've been in this program since New Year's Eve. So New Year, New Me. I don't know what you was thinking about on New Year's, but I was thinking about how I make some more money in the new year, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so January 31st, I signed up for this project right here, this platform. Now, what I like about this project, first and foremost, it's a Nigerian brother named Jesse Michael that runs the platform. Since I'm a black owned business owner and entrepreneur, I love supporting other black owned business owners and entrepreneurs. And not that I don't spend my money with Arabs or Caucasians or Indians or, but being a black owned business owner, I'm proud to support other black owned business owners, whether you like it or not. Now, Jesse Michael, the Nigerian brother that's put this platform together, um, when I think about him, as far as like what people say about him, I don't know him, I don't talk to him personally, never had a conversation with him, but what other people say in this space or the cryptocurrency community or the DeFi world, he says, uh, he's made a lot of people a lot of money. And so I kind of see myself following the same path that he's already been with the, the, the credit behind him, with the, with, with the trust behind him. And, and he's done that for years and now he's created his own platform. Now his platform is an arbitrage platform. Now what is arbitrage? Arbitrage is not trading. Arbitrage is taking the price of an asset that you see on this exchange so let's let's say Bitcoin. Anybody know the price of Bitcoin around about right now? Just about 24, about twenty four thousand Bitcoin, right? So one Bitcoin twenty four thousand. You see the price of a Bitcoin for twenty four thousand on KuCoin or Coinbase, which is an exchange, okay? And then you go over here to Kraken or Binance, and you sell it on Kraken or Binance. The same asset. I'm not I'm not talking about buying and waiting for it to go up in price. I'm talking about a supercomputer that goes real fast and see it over here, see the opportunity to take it over here and sell it real fast. And so this is what their system does. It does um, multiple arbitrage opportunities with different cryptocurrency assets across multiple different cryptocurrency exchanges simultaneously, very fast. With the robot that's what they do and even if you don't understand that all you have to do is understand that if i put my money here that this is they're going to make the money for me you most of us don't go to new york life and sit down and open up my prospectus and let me see where these assets are allocated some do most don't 
And so same thing here. They're going to make the money for you while you do nothing. Now, this particular platform, as I said, I got in this, uh, uh, the New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve. It's very investment friendly. The robots run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They trade in high frequency trading. That's what HFT stands for. Don't worry about it. Algos means algorithms, which are just mathematical computer modules. And I told you, they buy low and sell high. They go over here and buy it, take it over here, it's a little bit of profit, and they just do that over and over again, right? And this is the example that they have, right? Now, this is a USA company, folks. Trusted and reliable. It's on USA soil. Every company I'm in is not on USA soil. So people feel a little better when it's on US, USA soil, all right? Their auto compounding feature is coming soon. It's a 24-hour cycle. You can withdraw up to 10000 per day. And uh, there's only a $1 charge to withdraw. So here's the information at the bottom of the screen. Uh, they have a Facebook. They also have a Twitter. They have a YouTube channel. And they have a Telegram as well, too. So you can stay up to date with that program. program. Now, I didn't tell you how much they make. They actually are 1.65% per day. So every day, 1.65% every day. Okay. Every day. Every day. What does that look like? $1,000 is $16.50 a day, a day, a day. And then they have this hyper cycle, right? Where at the end of the 20 day cycle of already giving you 1.65% a day, then they jump up to, hold on, let me tell you, I always say this wrong. And they, they gonna be like, you don't be talking about our program right. I'm like, I'm, I'm in 40 programs. I'm sorry, I forget sometimes. So let me do this here. This is, uh, what is this? This is AAS rotating cycle. So let me go up here and pull up this, this visual so that you can see this. So AAS rotating cycle. Uh, let me see. Oh, oh, let me go back here. AAS thumbnail. I need to show you this so that you guys see the visual of how this works. AAS thumbnail. Is this it? January 5th. This is not it. That's not it. Actually, a uh, rotating cycle. Let me type in that. Oh, there it was. Did you see that? It popped up. Here it is. All right. There we go. All right, y'all can see that, right? Okay, cool. So this is how the cycle works, y'all. It starts at 1.65%, and then it goes to 2% for five days. And then it goes to 3.5% for three days. And then it goes to 5% for two days. Oh, my goodness, it's a hyper cycle. But 1.65%, which everybody in the world is happy with 1.65% yeah. a day, seven days a week. This is a seven-day-a-weeker, folks. And then five days at 2%. And then three more days at 3.5%. And then the last two days of that 30-day cycle is 5%. Pretty powerful. And you can withdraw your money every day. Every day, every day, ain't locked up. Now, your seed capital is locked until you want to be done with the program. So you're not taking your seed out until you say, I'm done. Whenever you want to be done, you can take it. You close your account out. You can have it, but that means you don't want to make money anymore. Yes, ma'am. You can always go back in. No, well, not into that same account. They probably make you open up a new one. So what my strategy was, and, and I'll show you, um, you see that I have, uh, $2,100 in here, right? 
So this is an account that I have $2,186 in there. And then I got $75 right here that I can withdraw. And I can withdraw that every day based on my initial investment, which you may not be quite, that might be a little change left over from the last one. And when you withdraw, it's like instant. So like when I come over here and click withdraw, I'm going to come over here and click my wallet. You got to withdraw at least $50. I got $75 in there. So I'm going to take out the 75. That's my crypto wallet address already saved in there for where it needs to go. Oh, hold on. They say I got insufficient. I must have did it. Oh, 74. Let me do this. They need a dollar charge. There it is. Gone. And literally why we sitting here, that $75 is going to wind up in my account and may get a notification up here in one of my things that it showed up, right? And then if you can see right here, these are all withdrawals. Yeah, I don't know if you can see them. I'm going to show you. I go get my bread. I don't know about y'all. Yeah, I'm going to get mine. I just took out this 74, 96. Can y'all see these? 113, 268, 728, 211. I just keep taking my money out. Yes. These movements are retracted. This one, <laughs> not quite yet. Not quite yet. A lot of the stuff in the cryptocurrency space is not taxable because they're not sending you a 1099. And if they don't ask for like your social security number, I ain't really going to 1099 you. you. Need your social or tax ID to be 1099. And so kind of a, a common thing is if they don't ask for that, yeah, no, no. And here's the reality, right? The bank shut me down. The banks don't like me and I don't like them either. Now, so it's all fair. Yeah. Now, so I pay everything in crypto. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, the banks shut me down. The banks didn't shut me down. I've been having the worst time with banks for years, really years, honestly. In the last straw, they shut my last Chase Bank account down in September or October. And I had a Capital One account at the time, which I got $7,000 frozen in Capital One since October, 6,300, I'm sorry. Since October that I can't get out. I, whatever reason, they won't give me my money, but they're the bank. And what they say goes with my money, which I don't like that. And so we're finding ways to get around that and flat out, you know, um, so if you pay for things in crypto, like if you can, you know, crypto is coming mass adoption. Pretty soon you're going to be able to walk in anywhere and spend crypto. You're going to be able to get a burger from McDonald's with crypto. Just grab your card. There's crypto ATMs. I'm sure you've probably seen some around now. You know, this thing is coming. And then, you know, just like when years ago when the Internet was coming out, um, the same growth rate. So the same growth rate of the internet compared to what cryptocurrency is, it's the same. And so if you can remember the slow process to everybody finally got with the internet, you're seeing exactly the same thing with cryptocurrency in your hair now. Yes, sir. Mr. Floyd acknowledged, I, I have a Coinbase ATM account. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So a lot of these platforms have crypto debit cards attached to them. What we're waiting for is for all the, the, the banks to just take crypto as it is without having to convert it. Because there's a conversion fee. Yes. So once that conversion takes place, then the feds are in the pocket. Yeah. Yes. The feds would be in the pocket. JP Morgan Chase, yeah. it has their... Um, their crypto exchange already trademarked. You can look it up, JP Morgan Chase Bank. They have their cryptocurrency, digital asset, DeFi space already trademarked. It's coming. And so folks, what I'm trying to show you is that you're on the front end of something, not the back end of something for a change. You get left behind a lot, right? And you know, everything's not glitzy and gold just yet. Um, but being in the proper position to be able to receive or to be able to capitalize off of these wealth transfers. We're here, folks. Like, we're literally right here digging those trenches for that right now.
And we ain't gonna be the ones that don't know. There's tons of people that don't know about any of this. But we take the responsibility upon ourselves to get them going, get them knowledgeable, get them the information and resources that they need. We wanna set people free, not just spiritually, but financially as well. Um, this does not compound, but you can automatically withdraw it. It takes a couple minutes and send it right back in. There's your compound. Yeah. Yeah, just whenever you want. I go in and take mine every day. And so my suggestion is always to people get your initial investment off the table as fast as you can. And so since I've been in it for two months, those those percentages that that were up there, that works out to be about 63% a month. So you come in with a thousand, you'll make 630 in month one. That's what that accumulates to. So I've been in two months. So 63%, 63%. I made 126% of my money. So me withdrawing every day, I got all of my money back and every dollar I would draw forever is profit. So this program pops up and disappears next month or two months or six months down the line. Terrence didn't get hurt because Terrence took his seed capital back out. I didn't get hurt. Now there's programs I didn't get a chance to do that, you know? I didn't get a chance. And there's programs that I wasn't trying to do that. And so I got burned. I learned my lesson. Any questions about AFRI JM arbitrage? And I'm going to show you one more project in, then we're going to get people signed up here. Uh, AFRI is A F R I Q J M arbitrage, A R B I T R A G E. But A a S for short. You're welcome. Any other questions on AFRI? Okay, I'm gonna show you one other new platform. This one is new. It's, I like it though. And you might like it as well. This new project is called Vitalook. V-I-D-I-L-O-O-K. Vitalook. V I B I L O O K. Now, this is another American company. Uh, the people that put it together are from Sequoia Valley. And it brings something just a little bit different to the space. Now, what this does here is this particular project, you get paid for watching ads. For watching ads. Some of you scroll on Facebook, right? You ain't getting paid for that. You don't get paid for watching ads. Now, everybody that's in business wants more customers. If you're in business, you want more customers. Everybody wants people to see their advertisements. Everybody wants more viewers. And so what this company has practically done is they brought the videos to the people that want to view them and they pay you for viewing them. Now, how do they pay you for viewing them? Well, the advertiser pays them. So, hey, can you get some people to watch these videos? Sure. How much are you going to pay me? Okay, I'll pay you. I'll go find some people. And they went and found some people to watch videos and they pay people to watch the videos. That's simple. Now, this thing pays 3% a day. Now, let me help you with that. 3% a day means in 33 days, all your money's back. If you put in $50 in 33 days at 3% a day, you're going to have 99% of your money back. Y'all with me? Three times 30. 33. And so this project, all I do is watch videos. Now, let me show you. So I'll come over here. I'll turn this video on. And whatever you put in here, they give you 3% a day. So let me see if y'all can hear this. for another content creator must have. So this. Okay. 
it's not uh, playing through my Zoom, but no problem. It was playing through my computer, but I want you to see what happened. This is called the Pivo Pod, and it connects to your smartphone and uses its auto tracking. And then once this video is over, which is like 15 seconds, I'll make 30 cents. 30 cents. And then I want to show you, though, um, you know how um, your phone will time out in the screen and time out. But what I do is I turn off the volume, turn this on my computer, and then I'm gone. You don't got to really watch it. Yeah, I'm just saying you don't have to really watch the video. You can just turn it on your desktop or you can just turn it on your phone and leave your phone on and play. Now, for the package that, that I have on this, it's a $1,500 package. So they got four packages. In, in AAS, I forgot to tell you, you can start with $20 in Africa arbitrage. C12, you can start with $12. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you that. So people don't have to get broke to get started. They ain't got to come up with hundreds and hundreds of dollars. $12 for C12, $20 for AFRI JM arbitrage. This particular project, the least you can get started with is 50. 50. And the way it works is if you came in with 50, you watch ads and you would get paid 3% of $50. Every day, how much is 3% of $50? $1.50. I'll help you. $50 times 3% is $1.50. So what they do is they're going to give you $1.50 every day until you double your money. How long does that take? 66 days. Because in 33 days, you got all your money back. There's no more risk. So the question is, can this project make it 33 days? Because after 33 days, you got all your money back. And anything you get after that is profit. Okay? So the $50 plan goes two months or two 33-day cycles. When I say months, folks, I really mean 33-day cycles. But just to make it easy, right? A 33-day cycle, we're just going to call it a month. So the $50 plan, you double your money, two months. The $150 plan, you triple your money. So three months, okay? The $500 plan, you quadruple your money, four months. The $1,500 plan, you five times your money, which is five months. So what am I saying? If you came in with $1,500, like I have, then month one, I got my whole $1,500. Month two, I get another $1,500. Month three, I get another $1,500. Month four, I get another $1,500. Month five, I get another $1,500, folks. You can't do this at the bank. You can't do it under your mattress. Voila! Decentralized finance, folks. You are taking control of these dollars in your hand. And see, these videos is playing. I ain't watching them. It's a little pink thing you can't see up there, but it's ringing up my dollar. So, like, I've made a dollar and 80 cents while I've been, since I turned this on, talking to you. For the $1,500 package, I got to let it go for uh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Set my computer off to the side or turn my phone, cell phone screen on so it don't time out and throw my phone over there. 45 minutes. I get through that $1,500 package. Now, what does the $1,500 package pays? It pays $45 a day. So every day I'm pulling out $45. $1,500 times 3%. I didn't do the math, but guess what? $45. Yes, sir. You ain't got to do nothing. The money just going to automatically go right there in your account. Now, one thing I did not tell you, which is a good thing, they actually pay you out in a token called BDL, right? It's called VDL video look, right? Now we talked about cryptocurrency assets. They go up and down, right? This token has only been going up. And so no, not only are you making 3% a day, the token price of the token that they're giving you is going up in value every day as well. So you might've had a token a day, 
worth 30 cents and they gave you 10 of those, right? A week later, that same token could be worth 35 cents. So not only are you getting 3% a day, the token itself is going up in value, which is crazy. It's hyper growth. Now, let me show you here. Let me show you these tokens. And so this is all you do. You let the videos go. Let me look at these tokenomics here. So the token today is already up $1.85 today, excuse me, 1.85% today. And then let me show you. I was going to show you the chart here. Let me show you the chart here. Kick me out. How long do you have to watch the video? Depends on your package, but you can get the least package, which is 50, and that will be roughly six minutes. And then I have an account that has all the packages. I bought the 1500, the 500, the 150, and the 50. So you want to go full stack. It's called full stack. It's 2200 because you can buy all. And if you come in with 2200, it's 3% a day, which is $66 per day if you want to do full stack. Um, and so that's what I have on one of these. And then these prices here. See, the token itself is at 38%. I mean, 38 cents is up 1.85% today. And so this thing has been printing money. Now, it's one of the newer projects. Um, let me show you just a couple of things, and then we're going to be done sharing projects, and we're going to get to getting people set up here. Um, you'll come in. They got videos. You can share this. So Vitalook is a blockchain lead media traffic comprehensive platform, provides a share revenue model for platform users, media creators, and advertisers ground on the basic logic of mutual flow of traffic and value. Real-time conversion is enabled among the three parties. We can post the media works accurately, place advertising, or participate in the traffic contribution into Vitalook. So Vitalook, let me show you one other thing. Um, there is a newbie task section, which you guys will complete this if you decide to get involved, where you can gain some free things and get connected also to their social media channels. And then let me see if this is the price of VDL. I wanted to show this chart to you. I can't remember exactly. I thought it was right here. VDL ads trade. Uh, let's see here. Is there coin on like Coinbase? No, it's an internal systems coin. So they only use it inside of the ecosystem here. Okay. So here's the chart. Okay. So now, folks, this is a newer project for me. Um, I've only been in not even two weeks. So new to me, new to you. Um, oh, what happened to that right there? Oh, there. Okay. Charts are up here. Okay. So I just want to show you this chart real quick and show you where this thing work that so these are just going back days don't worry you see the line is constantly going up i just want to show you where it was when i started i think on the 26th so you seen the coin was at 37 cents almost 38 cents today right here's where i started 26 this coin was 29 cents folks it was 29 cents when i started 12 days ago. So every token I got 12 days ago is now worth 37 cents instead of 29 cents. And they're still giving me my three cents a day, 3% per day. Very powerful, folks. But I just wanted to show you all those three projects, platforms, DeFi space. Any questions about this one or the previous three before I get you signed up for C12 today? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, since it's international, the United States can't just do what it wants. Yeah. And so the United States can follow suits like some of the other countries and say, oh, well, cryptocurrency ain't allowed in the United States. All people do is get a VPN, which is a virtual private network, and continue in the DeFi space. And so there's certain platforms that, you know, are huge and got to uh, follow 
different rules and regulations because of the way that they're structured. Um, but like this particular company is supposed to be structured in the United States. It's not necessarily crypto trading because you're just watching ads. And so something like this could potentially last. Also with arbitrage, you're not trading. You're taking an asset from here, selling it over here. You're a middleman. Now, when you get behind traders trading in stock and Forex and different things like that, there's a lot of regulation that can come with the crypto and Forex trading because you need to be some form of a broker. Um, but none of these three platforms fall into that particular space. So if they're going to be able to make it, I think we have a chance. But yes, sir. You can have them run together, but you would essentially just send over one deposit enough for all, or you can even add it another time. Like I did my first two accounts with 1500 and then I liked the way it was going after a week. I know it's just a week, guys, but I'm risky, right? And then so I bought two more accounts. I did full stacks on those. So I did 2200 on each one of those. So I threw 7200 in it very fast. But I knew I got 33 days to get this seven grand back out of here. 33 days. And then I go back to my Novatech days. I threw in 10 grand in that. And that was my first. And so if I come with seven, you know, it's not like I had did 10 before. And like my favorite project, which I share with y'all today, I mean, like $40,000 in that project, you know? So I'll share that with y'all next time. But um, there's different projects, it's different liking, but the key is diversification. And you get in, I tell people you want eight to 12. So if you're thinking in your mind, like, well, hey, you're in 40, I don't, you know, 40, you need to work towards eight to 12 programs because they're not all going to last. They're just not all going to last, folks. I'm not sitting here telling you that, I mean, that we can come to church tomorrow and all three be gone. I'm just being honest with you. Right. Like here today and gone tomorrow, let's be, <laughs> all three can be gone tomorrow. You can be like, hey, how's that doing, brother? Huh? Woke up and the websites are gone. <laughs> you know, hey, withdrawal's pending. It could be like that. However, I don't think these are going to happen to these programs. And if you're diversified, you'll be able to handle when one goes or when two goes or half your portfolio goes because the reality is all it takes is one. That's what I hadn't said yet. When you're getting 1.65% interest per day or you're getting 2% interest per day or 1%, just say 1% interest per day for a year, all the projects could go away as long as you got one, you'll make it. So I'm playing in with the loaded deck. I got an extra joker. Joker, Joker, do say. <laughs> oh, y'all laughing, huh? Oh, y'all laughing. <laughs> no, no, I got an extra couple jokers, all right? Because I'm so widely diversified. Yeah. And so it, 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 it'd be hard to hurt me. You know, not that losses don't hurt, but it'd be hard to put me out. And no matter what, I can't lose because I don't take all my money off the table already. I'm playing with the house, so better that way. But let me go ahead and stop this recording here now. We're going to shut this down. Any other questions? Oh, yes, ma'am. Um, so YouTube. Most of these projects hit YouTube first. So YouTube is the way to find out just about everything. Um, and then also my social media channels. You can do Google searches. I'll send everybody information for these projects here for sure. Um, but yeah, do do your own research and investigation. Look, yes, ma'am. But it would be YouTube like cryptocurrency or so people look for passive income. That's one of the hot, yep, one of the hot uh words is passive income, crypto investing, forex investing, trading, arbitrage, AI robots. Staking, return on investment, money while you sleep, get money. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 what people search. And I ask some people sometimes because um, I'll tell you how this is helping. 
Um, and then, then I'm done on the recording side of things. Um, when we had people getting started for Novatech, which some of you got started with Novatech with us, I had the blessed time to be able to assist others, whether they were coming on my team or not. I got to learn how to get them, you know, all that different stuff, all the different hurdles, right? And then I, I thought about it. I said, well, look, you know, I've been helping others get started in this, in cryptocurrency and Novatech. What if I open this up to whoever? Not just our church members or people in my upline, just people around the world that would need the help. And so I did a YouTube channel and I had 20 subscribers back in October when I was only doing spiritual videos. And then I started doing financial videos and I got almost 3,000 subscribers. And then so what I did was I set up a calendar uh, Monday through, well, Monday through Saturday, no Sundays, because I got to get some worship in, right? But Monday through Saturday from 10 o'clock in the morning till 8 o'clock at night, free, free appointments, free, free. <laughs> and my calendar was out of control. Every day it was filled. Six to eight appointments every day for the last 120 days. Six to eight. People I meet all over the world, all over the world. And guess what? They want to make passive money. They're jumping on the calls because they don't know how. They want the same thing you want is to make some money while you sleep. And so they want to come to somebody that knows what they're doing. And they understand from my videos, from my transparency, that I know what I'm doing. And it's free. And so they make the appointments. I sit down. We take an hour. And I help them get on board for stuff. Literally help probably a thousand people by now over that time frame because we do weekly Zooms and it might be 30, 40 people in a weekly Zoom. People reaching out to me and you see the teams growing, you know, the teams are growing. And so it's been a blessing to me. So what has started out to be servitude, let me help others, has richly blessed me beyond measure. I never, I, I think, listen, did I think when I got started a few months ago that me helping others would give me just one platform that would give me 10,000 in 45 days? Just one. Just one. Didn't think that. Thought I'm helping others. And then here it is, fast forward, fast forward six months later, one platform. Listen, I'm the most optimistic person I know. And so I'm always thinking, the sky. I couldn't even have said that. So I know it's God. Like, that's bigger than what I would have said. You know, and I'm going to say something big. But that was bigger than what I could have said. And that's not the only platform. I'm in multiple platforms that I make $10,000 more. You know, maybe not 10000 but a few thousand a month. Passively. Passively. This month, I anticipate on making $80,000. This month. Anticipate on it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, money, ministry, and motivation. Money, ministry, and motivation. Yeah. <laughs> money, ministry, and motivation. And if you're on Facebook, I have a Facebook group, too. And if you're on Telegram, I have a Telegram group, too. Money, ministry, and motivation. Yes, ma'am. Can you um, say that you get some money out um, by the way where do you move it? Uh, so there's multiple different places to move it. And so um, depending on what cryptocurrency it is, certain cryptocurrencies can only go to certain crypto wallets. And so for Bitcoin, most people use Cash App or use Coinbase. Those are the most common first two ways. Now, when you get into some of these other projects, um, Coinbase nor Cash App has the appropriate currency that it needs. So then we got to go other places to get that currency. Okay. Like VDL. What is it? The VDL. Or well, the VDL tokens you sell right here in the back office, you'll swap that out for USDT and then withdraw that USDT. Any other questions? Have you, have you ever taken any money out of your cryptocurrency and had it? 
switched over to uh, regular money and put it into another account? Yeah, yeah, every month for the last six months, all of my bills okay. and some tithes and all come from crypto. <laughs> like seriously, everything comes from crypto. Everything. 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 Any other questions? Okay, cool. Let me stop the share here. We're going to shut this down on this side here. And then let's get you guys in.